So welcome back to more of Mega Man X, and we are taking on the last two Mavericks, and this first one's gonna be Launch Octopus. And uh, Launch Octopus is gonna be the obligatory water level. And um... Yeah, this level doesn't really have any pits that you have to worry about, but you do have to worry about a lot of spikes. And uh, see, this first part's simple enough. Really all you're doing is just uh, blasting these tortoises and then these water bugs. And uh, see, the tortoises can be an issue if you're in narrow space with them. So uh, let's just do this the easy way. And um, as far as a fire wave goes in water, it doesn't work that well, so doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Uh, let's see, the seahorses are just going to cover some distance and then go down. Or drop down. And here's our first encounter with a mini boss, and uh, this is going to be one of the submarines, and you'll be seeing plenty of su or there are going to be two submarines, and uh, in true Mega Man fashion, the first one's going to be a lot easier than the second one. And uh, really the way I'm attacking this guy is just to uh, hit the harpoons, just because I don't feel like getting hurt by them. And uh, let's see, the attack in which he tries to suck you in uh, really isn't too dangerous now, but it will be pretty soon. And usually what makes the uh, second boss, or second mini boss, tougher than the first one is some change in terrain. And uh, you'll just see that when we get there. Anyway, what I'm doing now is just uh, trying to blast this thing. I probably should be using the storm tornado, but I don't know, I guess I'm not. Alright, well now that that's done with, let's uh, go ahead and kill these fish. And, uh, let's see, if they do eat you for a long enough time, they will drain your health. So just, uh, make sure to either shoot or jump your way out of those things pretty quickly. And, uh, this is what I meant by the change in terrain, because, uh, there are spikes here, and also the, uh, attack in which the ship tries to suck you in can get you killed. That's because there are some spikes. And, um, I am playing this a little bit more carefully because, well, I don't feel like getting killed. And now that I said that, watch me get killed here. Alrighty. So, yeah, once I'm done with this, I'll probably start, uh, recording Mega Man X2. And I haven't played that game in a while, so I'm probably gonna have to get some practice reps in. And, uh... Let's see, I think I figured out my order for how I'm going to attack uh, the bosses in X2 and X3, but you know, I'll just uh, get to that when I get to that. I mean, hopefully time should be a little bit friendlier, and hopefully the heat wave should be a little friendlier too. And uh, you do want to use these uh, turbines in order to climb up and get ourselves some health power-ups. The uh, turbines are going to be more useful in other parts, just like right here. And uh, let's see, I just want to torch this thing. And now uh, we destroyed the ship, we can drop down further in the level. And yeah, the fire wave is really the easy way to take care of that thing. And we're faced off with another mini boss. This is gonna be, I guess, a giant eel. And uh, what you want to do is hit either the head or the tail. And uh, one thing you can do is uh, get on top of it and uh, just keep shooting it. But just be careful not to fall into the spikes. And um, yeah, I mean this does take a while just because this thing does take a lot of hits to kill. And. Uh, yeah, I think that's really the only problem, is uh, just making sure you don't land on the spikes. Alright, where are we? Whoa. I actually did not know you could do that. Alright, that should be the end of him. And uh, you do want to collect the power-ups by the tail. Uh, unless they fall into the spikes, which they almost did, but they didn't. Now with that, we get ourselves another heart tank, so that's uh, seven of them. 
We have to slowly make our way across here. And uh, the good news is, since you can jump higher, at least you can get up there quicker. And that uh, first mini boss is actually going to be much easier than this one. And uh, it's really the only thing that makes this guy any different is that uh, he just likes to go into the ground and then uh, just try and catch it by surprise. But other than that, this guy is actually pretty easy to deal with. And I'm just using the same strategy of getting on top and then uh, just shooting the hell out of him. Just like so. So now that we got that, let's just uh, keep going here. I think there's just one more round of fish before we get to the boss. And uh, here's Launch Octopus. His weakness is the rolling shield, but I'm going to start with a boomerang cutter. I also like this little taunt. He's like, you going down, bitch. Anyway, uh, what we're doing here is just uh, trying to cut off the uh, tentacles. And uh, that's mainly to prevent him from doing that, because if he gets a hold of you, he actually does uh, absorb your health. Like, uh, he gets his health refilled, and you lose yours. I mean, you know how that works. And uh, now that we could cut off his arms, uh, really all he can do is... Uh, just shoot the missiles. No, oh, that launch octopus is done. And that's a 7 out of 8 Mavericks. And we got one of the more useful weapons here, the uh, homing torpedo. Even if it does warming. And uh, really all it does is uh, exactly as it says, it homes in on enemies. And at least it doesn't take the completely indirect route like the dive missile. So now off to our last Maverick, and that's going to be Sting Chameleon. I do like the music in Sting Chameleon stage, it uh, does add a pretty nice element to this uh, game, and the music in this game is really outstanding. Now oh, I forgot about that guy. Um, but yeah, since we beat Launch Octopus, uh, you get to see some extra water here. And really the only difference is the water's just not there if you didn't beat Launch Octopus. And uh, we are going to need this water in order to not only break some blocks, but to jump over here and get the last heart tank. And um, let's see, I'm going to switch over to the Fire Wave, even though that's probably not this guy's weakness. I don't really know if this guy even has a weakness. Well, we get to fight off against another mini boss. And uh, what he tries to do is either use that grappling hook of his to uh, either grab you or grab the walls. And I'm probably going to run out of fire wave with the way this is going. And yeah, this does take a while, so I might as well talk about uh, what I'm going to do. I don't know, I guess for the rest of the summer. Um, uploading might be a little difficult because, uh, you know, I am going to have a pretty busy summer between, like, doing a lot of writing and having to fill out applications and all those fun things. Oh, crap, I was too late. And, uh, let's see, I guess I am whittling down him down here a little bit. So let's just, uh, switch to the X-Buster now. And also, since I do have classes that start in September, um, I kind of do want to get most of these uh, done. Except I'm not sure if I'm going to get up to Mega Man X8 or not, because I actually do want to Let's Play Mega Man X8. Even though that is, like, technically not Mega Man Summer. But, uh, yeah, that's actually one of the reservations I had playing this game, because... Unfortunately, there are just way too many shitty Let's Plays of this game. And, um, you know, I just didn't want to feel like I was oversaturating on a lot of Let's Plays of uh, certain games like this one and Mega Man 2 and, you know, a bunch of other ones. 
But then, you know, decided that since, uh, some other people I watched, uh, were doing the same thing, and, um, you know, I didn't really mind, because at the end of the day, I still enjoyed their Let's Play. I mean, it's not really about... Um, well, yeah, that kind of did go against what I guess my gimmick was, but... Which was playing, like, much lesser-known games, but, uh... I mean, I still really do enjoy these games, and at the end of the day, that's really what this should be about, is just playing what you love and, you know, explaining why you love it and, like, showing that you do and all those other fun things. But, uh, anyway, all we're doing is just breaking these rocks. And, um, I did get the armor, and, uh, that's just gonna be for better defense. In the, uh, later games, it is gonna have some other capabilities, like it, uh, lets you use either a giga attack or it gives you a shield. Or some of those other things. And now we get to play around in right armor again. And, um, yeah, unfortunately it is pretty easy to jump on, uh, those water bugs and get hurt. And, um, it really wasn't until X8 where they got that right where you can stomp on enemies. But you'll, uh, see that when I get to X8. Especially since those purple jerks are going to give me problems later on. And now that we're uh, done with the stage, we're up to Sting Chameleon. And uh, Sting Chameleon's weakness is going to be the uh, Boomerang Cutter. I'll uh, show off his attacks and then I'll just finish him off quickly. And uh, his, his main basic attack is uh, getting up on the ceiling and causing these spikes to fall. And then he'll uh, vanish off and then try and lash you with his tongue. Which means that's a pretty nasty tongue. Oh, whoops. Jumped too high. Alright, now that that's... Uh, he does have another attack where he likes to shoot his chameleon sting at you. And there it is, right in action. Right when I say that. Anyway, here's the uh, easy way to get rid of them. Just do this. And with that, Sting Chameleon is done, and we have beaten all eight Mavericks. Now we get the Chameleon Sting. This is a decent weapon, but it's actually a lot better charged up. And, uh, charged up, it does make you invulnerable to enemies. And especially spikes, so that's gonna be pretty important later on. So, one more password later. Enjoy this cutscene. And this is one of those, uh, we found Cygnus Fortress, let's kick his ass. Yeah, no, that's just the summary of it. But right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show off, uh, what Flame Mammoth and Spark Mandrill stage look like if you didn't beat their respective bosses.
Thank <laughs> you. 